What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So today is a lovely day out here. You can hear all the animals in the back. It's a little loud, but I enjoy it. We got the dogs out here. We have Rex right there. And we have Ghost right there. Where? Right there. And we also have the wife. She is taking a nap. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go take a walk in the shed since it is a lot quieter in there. It's quiet in here, but it is pretty messy. I got crap all over the place. I need to organize this and make it a bit nicer. One of these days. Alright guys, so as you can see, I'm grabbing a rear bumper and a rear trunk for the S2000. Now I ended up buying these last year and I was planning on getting them painted and fixed this year and throwing on the car. Now the bumper is in decent shape. Now the trunk is a different story. So obviously when I looked at the trunk I knew it was damaged and I'm like oh we'll just fix that, we'll bond it, we'll shave it and it'll be good to go. So obviously this day I ended up grabbing all those parts, brought them to the body shop. I get to the body shop, my buddy tells me that the trunk is actually in really rough shape. So it needs about 8 to 10 hours worth of work. And then what he also found is that the middle looks like the car may have gotten uh, rear-ended. So the middle is a little bit creased. And obviously that's not good because the bumper, uh, sorry, the trunk might not line up. So the plan was to grab the S2000, remove the stock trunk, swap over the used, this used white trunk. And if everything lined up, then obviously, you know, we would get it fixed and it'll do all that good stuff. Now obviously that's a decent amount of work because I gotta take out trunk, swap it over, see if it lines up, then if it lines up, again, eight to 10 hours worth of work, obviously that can get expensive. So what I actually ended up doing, and I'm gonna turn you guys back to the, to the uh, shed right now again. Bam, here it is. So look at that, we got another trunk. So it is in really nice shape, so obviously it's got the OEM uh, spoiler, which I don't think I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna take that out and rock it with no spoiler. But let's get this thing outside in this lovely sun and take a closer look at this. And so here's the trunk. This thing is in really nice shape. Doesn't have too many. The back looks okay. Like I said, the other, the other trunk had a bunch of dents all over the back here. And obviously had a giant dent in the back. This one looks like it's got a couple dents here. I don't think the camera will catch it. They're really small. Alright guys, so here's the underside. So the nice thing about this one is that it already came with a whole lock assembly. Everything's already connected. So it looks like I'll just have to remove the stock harness. From my car plug it into this whole unit and we should be good to go now one thing that i just noticed is that this nut for the uh third brake light that thing is really rusty the other ones look okay i'm not sure why that one looks like that because these look almost brand new and then that one not so much all right guys so all you need for this is a ratchet an extension of some sort and also an eight millimeter and a ten millimeter the 10 is for the spoiler bolts and the 8 is for the third brake light. So let's try to do the brake light first because I kind of want to tackle that uh, rusty bolt. So actually let's do the other ones first. We'll do the easy ones first and then the rusty one after. Let it sit for a little bit and we'll take out the bolts. But the uh, spoiler should be one, two, four, ten millimeter bolts all the other. And there we go, guys. So, stock spoiler has been removed. So again, really easy, just four bolts. One, two, three, four. That's it. So yeah, we're gonna save this bad boy because like I said, I don't think I'm gonna use it. So we'll save it maybe, we'll sell it, who knows. 
All right, guys, we have the eight millimeter, so let's give that bolt a shot. I'm a little scared, but we'll see what happens. Shit, guys. So that bolt actually ended up breaking. Damn it. Ah, oh, that sucks. I think it was shot, but yeah. Oh well. All right, guys. So there is where the sucker broke. So that one right there snapped. These, like I said, they came out very nice. And also, there's one back, right back here. So this one here. If you have the um, the trunk latch still in place, you can't really get to it here. So I just used the socket and the um, ratchet and ended up sneaking behind and then ended up getting that out. But yeah, so there's one, two, three, four, five, which that's kind of overkill for a little tail light. So you got five bolts for a little tail light, and then you have uh, four for a whole spoiler. And there we go guys, so yeah the third brake light is out. So here is where the, uh, obviously the, uh, the other stud broke. So I do want to use this uh, brake light with this trunk. So what I think I'm going to do is I'll still use it, I'll probably just throw a little bit of uh, thin 3M tape on this side and I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Like I said, four, there's still going to be four studs holding it. I think we should be okay. Uh, Alright guys, so I have my heat gun right here I need to get like a little uh, those plastic wedges but anyway I'm gonna use this wooden wedge should work out just fine heat this up and then we'll see if we can get that out well yeah so that's it so guys what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna throw the trunk and the cross door because we're gonna drop it off tomorrow at the body shop and hopefully we can get that done either maybe in a couple of months we can get that taken care of and then we'll be uh, ready to go look at that savage beast laying over there in the sun Uh, look, we just got home from uh, Petco. Right, buddy? Did you get nails clipped? Ghost, did you get nails clipped, buddy? Hey, yeah, did. Rex, your brother's back. Freaking dogs. Hey, right, guys, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll drop off the bumper. Again, uh, sorry, we'll drop off the trunk. And hopefully... Whoa, buddy, you okay? That's what he gets. Eats a bunch of grass and then chokes all over the place and pukes. Ah, oh, dogs. Alright, so again guys, see you guys tomorrow, we'll drop off the trunk and hopefully just uh, slap some paint on it and that thing will be good to go. Alright, see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys, so we are finally out of work and as you can see in the back we have the trunk sitting right there. So we're about to drive to the body shop, drop off the trunk, hopefully there is no damage. I didn't see any, but obviously I'm not a body person so I am not a collision expert. So anyway, we'll drop it off, get that painted. And if I turn you guys around real quick, if you guys watch the video that I went off-roading with the uh, Jeep Cherokee, there is that Cherokee looking pretty nice, if I do say so myself. But anyway, guys, enough of that. Alright guys, and we just dropped off the trunk, and we actually, whoa, there we go, <clears throat> and we actually have some good news because that trunk is in actually really good shape, I believe that there are only two small dents in the back side, but we talked to my buddy, he's going to paint it, uh, plug up the holes for the spoiler, 
So now we gotta take a quick drive to where the S2000 is being stored. And we're gonna start it up because I think it's been like a couple months since I first started it up. All right guys, there she is. So I was gonna open up the garage and actually pull her out a bit, but there's some stuff in the way, the car's in the way, it's all right. Where did I put my keys? Keys, 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 keys. Keys, keys, they're not in my pocket. Keys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, guys, found my keys. They're right in my pocket. So, all right, let's start it up. Whoa. Tight squeeze, guys. Struggling a little bit. All right, we are in neutral. Oh, yeah. actually walk out here oh gotta get uh, away from the, those fumes from the s2000 but look at the cross door damn she is looking fire look at her got a wash of the day still dirty but clean yeah she is looking mighty fine oh yeah very nice very nice uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Got uh, all my junk from work because I have not yet gone home. But yeah, guys, I like what I see with this uh, cross door. Really enjoying that car right there. Alright guys, one more time. There she is, time to say goodbye. I miss this car. I miss driving this car. I miss being next to it. But, look at that. The weather is getting better. As you guys can see. So, I think in about like a week or two, she should be out. And yeah, we will be dropping the top. Enjoying her in the summer. With this nice weather, just ripping it. All right, guys, and we are finally home. And I'm starving, by the way. But we dropped off the trunk. We started the S2000, so that should be good to go for a few more weeks when she will be coming out. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, guys, but before I let you guys go, I know it's been a while since I last uploaded. Obviously, this stuff does take a little bit. I do work a full-time job and all this other crazy stuff that's going on. But I will try to bring you guys content a little bit more often than I have been doing. But I appreciate you guys for following the channel and also liking the videos and watching the videos. So until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Oh, keep on driving.